Hi, Miho. Hi, William. Good afternoon, everybody. We'll give it like um, you know, 30 more seconds. Okay, you guys. Hope you all are doing well this afternoon. Let's go ahead and take a look at the chat. So today's workout is going to be pretty short. Um, the Metcon portion, the end portion, you know, where we move around fast, it's only going to be about like 10 to 13 minutes. So we've added some extra work to start off with. All right. We've got an EMOM to get some skill work in and some extra movement. We're going to be doing a 12 minute EMOM. Minute one is going to be a 30 seconds of a cross body mountain climber. So we're going to change up the mountain climber a little bit. I'm going to have you extend your leg entirely. You're going to kick your heel out. So you will see. And then after 30 seconds of that, you're going to go into 20 seconds of a plank. Right. And then we'll have 10 seconds of rest. Minute two, you're going to be doing a Kang squat. I wrote King squat, Kang squat. And then we're going to switch off between the Kang squat and the bootstrapper just to warm up our hips. And then minute three is going to be 40 seconds of a side plank rotation. You're going to be on your forearms, rotating side to side. And then after we do that, we're going to be doing minute four. It's going to be a 30 second reverse plank. And it's going to give you guys about 20 seconds to rest. I'm mean, sorry, 30 seconds to rest before we start that round over again. All right. Any questions? Hey, my people that just joined late, I put the workout in the chat again for you, Bev. Okay. So we have the email. And then after we do our email, we have our strength portion. Okay. It's going to be five sets of 10 goblet squats and 15 dumbbell hip thrusts. All right. Hey, Katie, I'm going to put the workout in the chat again. All right. So we have our strength. And then after our strength, we are going to be doing um, our conditioning, which is reps 30. Wait, it's rep count of 
35, I'm sorry, geez, scratch that, 30, 25, and 20. And we're gonna be doing deadlifts, pike push-ups, and sit-ups, okay? So we'll go over our variations of what that's gonna look like depending on what object you have um, after everything else. Uh, any questions? Nope, cool. So let's go ahead and start with our warm up, you guys. Um, I'm gonna have you do some mobility before we get started on our EMOM. Okay, so let's go ahead and start in a standing position. We're gonna wanna loosen up our hamstrings. So we're gonna think of reaching for our, uh, so we're gonna straighten out one leg. You're gonna reach for the heel, push the butt back, face up to the ceiling, and then you're gonna switch sides. Good job, you guys. From here, I want you to step forward into a lunge. Drop the knee, keep the eyes forward and the hips forward as you rotate the elbows side to side. So hips stays forward, then you're gonna alternate. Good, 30, 20 seconds. All right, go ahead and stand on up. Um, next, we're gonna, you're gonna start in a standing position, start with your feet below your hips. So I want you to think that you're going to be stepping over a hurdle or a wall, something that's about belly button height. So we're gonna pick the knee up, right? We're gonna bring it out to the side, try to pick that heel up and then step over, and then you're gonna switch legs. All right, so you're trying to pick the knee up and then bring that heel up as you step over. 20 seconds here. Just like you're stepping over a wall that is belly button height. Good job, you guys. Next is toe touch. So we're gonna think of pushing the butt back, standing on one leg, knee is softly bent, into the butt back, feel that your hamstrings touch the floor, and then you're gonna switch. Keep the hips forward. Work. So now I'm going to teach you guys a movement called the bootstrapper. You're going to see it um, in our EMOM we're going to have next. All right, so your bootstrapper is going to look like this. You're going to start with your feet a little bit wider than shoulder width. You go wider than your normal squat stance. You're going to think of pushing the hips back as you reach for the toes. I'm going to grab my toes and from here I'm going to drop my butt, push my knees out, keep my chest up, then push the hips back up and stand. So hips back, I'm going to grab the toes, I'm going to drop the butt, drive the knees out, keep the chest up, and then I'm going to stand. All right, go ahead and go through that movement. So we're gonna think hips back, let's do it together. Hips back, we're reaching for the toes, right? You're gonna drop the butt, drive the knees out, keep the chest up, arms straight, and push the hips back up and stand. Each one trying to push those knees out a little further, getting comfortable in that bottom position. All right, now we're gonna go into our Kang squat because we're gonna have those in our EMOM as well. Most of you are familiar with the Kang squat if you've done my class. So we're gonna have our uh, squat stance, and then from here, hands across the chest. We're gonna push the hips back, doing our good morning. Then we're gonna drop the butt into a squat, reaching up, pushing knees out, and then back into that good morning, hands across the chest and stand. Let's go ahead and do a couple of these. Hips back, drop the butt, reach up, push the hips back up, and stand. Nice work, you guys, trying to keep that chest up tall. Okay, cool, go ahead and rest. All right, now we're gonna go through our EMOM. 
All right, minute one is going to be a cross body mountain climber. Okay, so our cross body mountain climber, I want you to think of your traditional mountain climber, but this time when you bring your knee up to your chest, you're going to extend your leg to the side. So it's going to look like this. Okay, go ahead and just give me six total, three on each side, alternating. I want you to think of knee up towards the other side of the chest and kick the leg. Cool. All right, so that's going to be your crisscross mountain climber. And then you're going to do that for 30 seconds, and then you go into a plank for 20 seconds. I'll remind you. Minute two, we have our Kang, uh, Kang squat for 40 seconds, right? And then uh, the next round, we'll be doing our bootstrapper instead of the Kang squat. And then minute three is going to be a side plank rotation. So what that's going to look like is you're going to be on your forearms. From here, I'm going to turn to my side, stack my feet, reach up, and then I'm going to switch. Go ahead and give me a couple, just feeling it out. The hardest part is going to be keeping your feet stacked. Give me a couple, you guys, about six, three on each side. Nice, some of us are going to have to go slow with that one. And then minute four, the minute four. Yeah, you're going to be holding a 30 second reverse plank. All right, and then that's uh, so our reverse plank is going to look like this. You're going to think of lifting the hips up, right? Keep those uh, arms locked out and hips fully extended, legs locked out. We're going to hang out here for 30 seconds. Any questions? I'll be reminding you what's going on. Don't expect you to remember. Sorry, Corey, uh, what's the squat? Can you demo it? Is it a particular squat? The Kang squat? Yeah. Yeah, that's the one we did in the warm up where we have hands across the chest, right? And then from here, I'm going to push the hips back and then drop the butt as I reach up. Oh, got it. Okay. Yeah, Thanks. I've done that before. Okay, guys, let me get my timer set up. We're going to get going in about 25 seconds. All right, you guys, 10 seconds. Starting with our crisscross mountain climber for 30 seconds into a plank on your hands or forearms. Three, two, one, here we go. Crisscross mountain climber. Slow and controlled. Let's make sure we're extending that leg. When you kick your leg, think, think of it, trying to push your heel out. 15 seconds in. Okay, we're gonna go to a plank in five, four, three, two, one. You can do arms extended. Just from there, we're gonna hold it for 20 seconds, squeezing glutes, squeezing abs. You can do arms extended or on forearms. Good job, you guys. Breathe, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, we're gonna rest for 10 seconds and we're gonna stand up. We're gonna go into 40 seconds of Kang squat. And five, four, three, two, one. Squat stance, hands across the chest. Push the butt back into your good morning. Drop into your squat, awesome. You guys are super seasoned with these ones since I coach you all the time. Uh, just take your time with these. You don't have to go fast. Just really try to get comfortable in that bottom position. Experimenting with like your, your stance. 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, we're gonna rest 20 seconds. The following minute, we're going into our side plank rotations where you're gonna be rotating on your forearms. 10 seconds, and we're gonna be doing that for 40 seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go, side plank rotations. Okay, cool, you guys all got it. Looking good, you guys. Fifteen seconds in here. 
Nice, Katie. Fifteen seconds. Nice, Miho. Five, four, three, two, one, and 20 seconds of rest. Next, we're going into our reverse plank. Ten seconds. So on your reverse plank, you guys don't think, oh, we're just doing more core stuff. Think of really trying to work on that shoulder extension also, right? So trying to really arch that back, locking those arms out. Three, two, one. Here we go. Reverse plank. Show you again. So think. Hips up, right? And then locking those arms out, trying to squeeze those shoulder blades back. Fifteen seconds. Can you keep your legs straight, Teddy? Yeah, there you go. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Good job, you guys. 30 seconds of rest, and then we're going back to our crisscross mountain climber. Heather, do you need any modifications for the workout today? I think we'll be good. Yeah, okay. 10 seconds, you guys. Crisscross mountain climber into our plank. Three, two, one. Here we go. 30 seconds. Nice work, you guys. Breathe and move. 15 seconds. Three, two, one. All right, 20 second plank. Here we go. Twelve seconds. Keep squeezing, keep breathing, looking good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. 10 seconds and next we're going to our bootstrapper. So you guys, for our bootstrapper, we're gonna have squat stands that are a little bit wider. So we're gonna reach for the toes, then we're gonna drop the butt, keep the arms straight, and then from here, push the hips back up and stand. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. If you've been lacking on your mobility throughout the week, this is a great opportunity just to work on that and this EMOM. All right, go ahead and rest. Good job, squad. Next one's gonna be our side plank rotation on our forearms. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Side plank rotations on our forearms, switching sides. Good. 40, 30 seconds left. Squeeze and breathe. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, rest 20 seconds. And then next we're going into our 30 seconds of reverse plank. Three, two, one. All right, you guys, here we go. Reverse plank. Extending those arms, squeezing those shoulders back, hips up. 20 seconds to go.
10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome, you guys. 30 seconds, and next we're going to our crisscross mouth climber. This time we're going to do something a little bit different. I totally forgot the name of this one, right? So it's similar to the mouth climber, but we're going to take one hand off the ground, right? So from here, I would bring my uh, left knee up towards my right elbow. I'm going to lift my right hand off the ground and extend that leg. And then I'm going to go through to the other side, right? And then so bringing the right knee up towards the left elbow, lift the left hand off the floor, and a switch. All right, let's go. Trying to keep those hips off the floor as you are doing so. Good, Miho. How quickly can you shuffle those feet through? 15 seconds. Easier if you stay low, keeping the hips low. Knees stayed at 90 degree. Five, four, three, two, one. Plank. 20 second plank. 15 seconds. I'm sorry, five seconds. Three, two, and rest. I think I got, had you guys do 40 seconds on that last one. That's why I got lost. All right, three, two, one, Kang squat. Good job, you guys, taking it slow with this one. Spend a couple seconds in that bottom position. 20 seconds. It's our last round. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Awesome, 20 seconds and we're going to our side plank rotation. Ten seconds. All right, three, two, one, side plank rotation. Good job, squad. Each time you rotate, try to keep that elbow underneath the shoulder so you feel your lat and your armpit, armpit engage. That's gonna help you stabilize. Ten seconds. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, and rest. We have our last minute coming up, and it's going to be our reverse plank. If you want this one to be a little bit more challenging, stay on your forearms. It's really, really hard. Your shoulders aren't very mobile. It's super, super hard. All right. So let's go ahead and try in five, four, three, two. And one. 20 seconds. Nice, Will. Back of my knee cramps up when I'm on my forearms like that. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Woo, good job, you guys. We're pretty warmed up now, right? Okay, so we finished our EMOM. Uh, now we're gonna get started on our strength stuff we have up next, okay? So just stand by and you're gonna watch me demo all the movements, right? So we've got our goblet squats coming up next. You guys are uh, definitely seasoned with goblet squats. So we're gonna keep that kettlebell or dumbbell at the chest. Um, you're gonna think of Squeezing butt, squeezing abs, pelvis tucked up towards the chin. My feet are giving my squat stance, so about shoulder width. I'm going to initiate my squat by pushing my butt back. Then I'm going to drive those knees forward and out as I drop down and stand. Go ahead and just give me five. Right now. Or actually give me ten and give me your first set if you'd like. Yeah, 
Just do your first set. First set, 10 reps. Pretty warm. Try to utilize the balance at the bottom of your squat. Remembering how that feels like when you catch a clean. Nice work, you guys. And then when you're done, you can go ahead and lie on the ground because next you're gonna be going into a dumbbell a hip thrust. So we're gonna lie on our back. And even if you want, if you have like a chair or something, you can keep your upper back on the chair or like your couch um, instead of lying on the ground. When you're doing it, make sure it's just your shoulders, not like pull back or takes away a lot of the work. So from here, you're gonna hold your object on your hips and you're gonna lift your hips up. And then we're gonna drop back down, squeezing the glutes. All right, you're gonna go ahead and give me, I believe it's 15 reps. Yep, 15 reps. And if your weight is really light and you're not getting a lot out of it, feel free to pause for a good two seconds at the top of that hip extension. Think of pushing those heels through the floor. When you finish your 15 reps, that is one set down, and now you have four more to go, right? of your 10 goblet squats and 15 dumbbell hip thrust. You can rest like 30 seconds in between your rounds if you'd like. And if you're not getting a lot out of your weight, just think of slowing the, the movement down. Or add some pauses. Nice work, Will. Hey, Bev, turn to the side for me a little bit so I can see your side angle. Thank you. So, Bev, we're really squatting low and we're kind of like almost getting your butt to the ground. And so I want you to think of kind of stopping when you get like your butt past your knees rather than sinking super low, right? So for you, think of pushing those knees forward more at the bottom. Yeah, that's better. Good. It's actually something I've noticed with your squat. And so when we get back into the gym and you come to my class on squat day, I'm going to definitely show you some tips. Good, because I think I usually don't get low enough, so I've been trying to go lower, but apparently I've overcompensated. <laughs> yeah, and it just has a lot to do with like kind of our ankle mobility and positioning, so it, it could just be like some of the way like you're loading your ankles, but it's hard for me to really to fix it if I'm not there or like address it, so, but I'm glad I've noticed it, so when we get back into the gym, we'll, we'll fix it, because it'll definitely make a big difference in your squat numbers too over time. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Of course. Good job, you guys. So we're doing five sets total. Good job, squad. Think of squeezing those glutes, trying to stay engaged throughout each movement. Nice, Heather. Oh, I just noticed your boot's gone. That was fast. <laughs> I'm just a really bad patient. <laughs> <laughs> just 
supposed so, to be here for two more weeks. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm terrible. <laughs> well, are you walking with a limp or anything? Not really. Yeah, so it's like, it, I guess it would be worse if you were walking with a limp anyway, so. Yeah. <laughs> not, 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 I, I think that's, okay. I mean, I can see, you know, but of course it's against doctor's orders. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like they say, doctors make the worst patients. <laughs> nice, Katie. Good job, you guys. Moving control through those squats, trying to get the most out of your movement. And on those hip thrusts, making sure our hips fully extend. So pushing those heels through the floor. Good job, Miho. Nice work, Stefan. <laughs> Stefano, I called you Stefan, not Stefano. <laughs> Are you done, Will? Oh, okay, you're just resting, cool. Nice work, squad. Katie, try to keep your chest up a little bit more by keeping your eyes forward. Good. Nice, Bev, those are good.
Anyone done? Okay, cool. Nice work, Katie. All right, I think everyone is done. Good job. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about what we have coming up next, right? So we have our uh, conditioning piece, or our Metcon, <coughs> excuse me. It's gonna be reps uh, 30, 30, 25, 20. And then we are doing deadlifts, pike push-ups, and sit-ups, right? So for our deadlifts, you guys, you're gonna hold your dumbbell or kettlebell in between your legs. If you have two, you can hold both of them, right? But um, ideally, I'm gonna hold my one dumbbell in between my legs just like this. Um, I'm gonna think of keeping my shoulders back and down. I'm gonna hinge my butt back as I tap the floor. And I'm gonna think of lifting the chest as my legs lock out, right? I actually, personally, if I did this workout, I would probably just go single arm, and then I would switch sides throughout the workout because this dumbbell sucks and it would slip through my hands. But that's gonna be your choice because the next round you have, you have a 25, so that's gonna be an odd number. So that's up to you, right? So if I was doing, uh, if I wanted to do suitcase deadlift, it would be like this. Right? So maybe you have the same issue, you have a, uh, a dumbbell that's slippery, you can try it that way. Okay? So that's going to be your deadlift. Go ahead and show me five to ten reps. Just warm up that movement for me. Did you say we could use two dumbbells? Yeah, you have two dumbbells. Feel free to use two. Mm -hmm. You're going to hold both of them by your side. Alright? Good job. Okay, uh, and then after that, you guys, we have our pike push-ups. So, for our pike push-ups, I want you to think that you have a triangle on the floor. Okay, I'm gonna place my hands at the corner of that triangle, corners of the triangle, and then I'm gonna get into a pike position. So, we have like, this is our down dog, and then our pike's going to keep our butt a little bit higher. Think of maybe being on your tippy toes. And then from here, I'm going to think of uh, having my shoulders past my wrist. I'm going to bend my arms, drop my head to the top, and then press back into that pike. If these are super hard for you, you can drop down to your knees and do them in a child's pose position. All right, so you're gonna start from child's pose, come forward, uh, shoulders past the wrist, tap the head at the top, and then press back. All right, the point is you wanna make sure we get back into that down dog or child's pose position, pike position, before we begin each rep. So go ahead and show me a couple, you guys. Good, mijo. Nice. I'm getting good at these. Love it. Cool. And then after that, you have sit-ups. Okay, so for our sit-ups, I don't know why I sit down every time I'm going to dim or something. Our sit-ups, you're going to think of lying on your back. You can keep your knees bent if you like, right? And you can sit up, making sure your shoulders past your hips, or you can do butterfly style with your heels together, sit back, touch the ground behind you, or you can make it a little bit harder and do the ups if you like, your choice. Go ahead and give me a couple setups, figure out which ones you like to do. Awesome, you guys. So let's go ahead. Um, we're going to get started in the next minute. You guys are going to get uh, 12 minutes to do the workout. 12 minutes seems like a good amount of time. Okay. 
Okay, looks like everyone is ready. Where'd you go, Heather? Oh, you're there, okay. Okay, here we go, you guys. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, 30 deadlifts, here we go. Shoulders back and down. Think of lifting with the chest. Nice work, squad. Break up those pike push ups into manageable sets. Nice work, you guys. Your pike push-ups look really good. I either explained them really well or you've all been practicing. <laughs> good job, squad. Really squeeze those glutes. That's gonna help you when you're struggling to press out. Nice work, you guys. On those pike push-ups, pretend someone's pulling your hips back up towards the ceiling as you're pressing out. Really squeeze abs, squeeze glutes. Nice, mijo. Three minutes in, you guys, keep it up. Here we go, squeeze glutes, squeeze abs. Breathing and moving. Good job, Katie. You have to drop down to your knees, that's okay. Think child's pose for those. Good.
the job squad, keep it up, breathe and move one rep at a time. Nice, Bev. Nice, Will. Keep it up, squad. A little over five minutes and 30 seconds in. If you feel like your pike push-ups are falling apart and the knees ones are hard for you, you can totally go to hand release. I'm okay with that. But all of you look pretty good. Just make sure we're getting that depth. So getting our head as close to the ground or on the ground as possible. Nice work, Heather. Good job, squad. Squeezing glutes, squeezing abs. Good job, Catalina. Nice work, Bev. Those look really good. Good job, squad. Squeeze glutes, squeeze abs. Keep moving. Looking good. Nice work squad, keep it up. Coming up on that nine minute mark, three more minutes to go. I don't think I gave you guys enough time, but based off everyone right now. So when our timer stops, I'm gonna keep it going for two more minutes, just in case. All the sugar wad times, the slowest one was like 11 minutes. So I thought 12 would be enough time but you guys are doing really good handstand push-ups or pike push-ups, so we're taking a little longer. It's okay. Nice, Katie.
10 minutes in, good job squad. Nice, Miho. All right, hitting a 11 minute mark. We have three more minutes to go, giving us three more minutes. You got this, you guys, keep it up. Good job, you guys, keep it up. So just so you're aware, the clock's gonna stop at 12, but I'm gonna have it reset to run, okay? So whatever your time is, when you look, make sure you add 12 minutes to it if you finish past the 12. I have to restart now. Three, two. Okay, two minutes to go. Nice work, you guys. Keep it up. Breathe and move. Now those triceps are getting really heavy. That lactic acid buildup. About 90 seconds to go here. Nice work, Bev. Keep it up, Katie. Coming up on that final minute. Forty five seconds. All done, Katie. All done, Bev. Nice. Good job, you guys. All right. We have 30 seconds to spare. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and stretch real quick. OK, we're going to lie on the ground and we're going to lie on our back and we are going to pull our left knee up to our chest. And then we're going to drag it across the body to the floor and then you're going to reach up to your left. So you're trying to keep your left shoulder on the floor and left knee on the floor, at least one of them. Take deep breaths as much as you can. And then now I want you to stay in this position, but bend your right knee and try to take your left hand and grab your left toe, right? And then you're trying to get your left knee, your left shoulder on the floor while holding your left foot on the floor. I mean, sorry, your right foot on the floor with your left hand. This is called a brexel. Ten seconds. Ooh, okay, we're going to go and switch sides. So you're going to drag the right knee across the body to the floor. And then we're going to hold that on the ground, trying to keep the right shoulder on the floor.
Now you're going to bend your left knee, reach for your left toe with your right hand. Ten seconds. All right, you guys. That is it for today. I hope you all had a good workout. I will see you all tomorrow. Same time. Actually, no, I don't have tomorrow. I'll see you in gymnastics tomorrow. You're welcome, you guys. Always a good workout. Thank you. I'm glad. See you, Will. <laughs> Bye. Thanks, Thanks Corey. Corey. You're welcome. Oh, how cute. How old is she, Katie? Oh, she left. Oh. oh. Sorry, I was trying to unmute. Oh, no, she it's okay. She will be eight months at the end of May. Oh, eight months. Wow, look at that hair. Uh, so, so, yeah. Oh. I know, she's got so much. Got it from work, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so cute. Thank you. Have a good rest of your day. You too, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Thanks. Yeah.